She is the business partner behind The Rock and a 50% owner of Seven Bucks Productions uh, and the force behind the Garcia companies. She is phenomenal. Please join me in welcoming Danny Garcia. The case focuses on the digital channel, right, that they've launched in uh, July 2016. So let's go back to that time and we can ask ourselves, good idea or bad idea? What are you thinking? The case focuses on the digital channel and uh, the launch of the digital channel uh, more specifically. Can you give an update? What happened? What has happened sure. with the channel? Sure, sure. The channel is doing great. It has 1.4 million subscribers. It's been an incredible experience. We've sort of been looking at the demographic. We have uh, over 70% of our audience falls in between the age of 18 to 34, which is really interesting. We've done some partnerships. We've partnered with YouTube Red. Um, and we've been busy, we've been busy. The real secret sauce here is, yes, the connection to the audience, but most importantly, the thing that'll live on is can we tell stories? So one of the sentiments that some of the students expressed was this notion of should Dwayne Johnson really be spending his time right. on the digital channel? There's so many other things going on. What's your, what's your answer to that question? So the channel in itself is not another outlet for Dwayne Johnson to be on. It's really uh, an outlet for him to curate, to share with the world, this is what I'm excited about, this is what Seven Bucks Productions is excited about. It's a platform to sort of bring more creativity. Um, he'll definitely be in there. You feel it. It feels like his channel. But we really want to transition into the space where it's about what are the projects we really want to push, what feels like seven bucks that we know the audience will be excited about. So I think the amount of time he spends there is just perfect.